So in this video I'm going to be working on my soldering fume hood. And I got a little drawing right here of what the concept is. And a shameless plug to my little website there. But basically it's going to be this fan right there connected to these angle brackets. And I'm going to build a little plexiglass sheath in the back to push the air through and then a filter in the back. So let's go over the parts. So we got the fan. In my previous video that we built, the USB to uh, PC fan. And we got rivets, rivet gun, take the solder out of there. Got the angle brackets, some angle aluminum that we're going to actually be riveting the plexiglass with. Then we got a ruler for measuring. We have a razor blade here for cutting the plexiglass. Then we just have a little tool here for fastening screws and whatnot. First thing I'm going to do is put this PC fan on in the right direction. So I believe it spins this way, which means the air will be pushing out that way. So I'm going to be putting the screws on like this. Alright, so I've attached the screws and I'm going to plug it in and push it up and make sure the air is flowing the right way. Alright, yeah, it is blown out this way. Alright, now that we know it's flowing the right way, I'm going to make sure these two holes are lined up straight all along here. So I'm going to take my ruler, measure across here, so, uh, just about 14 millimeters. So I'll line up back here, 14 millimeters. Put a line on a piece of paper just so we know they're straight. Now I'm going to cut this probably to about 16 centimeters just so I know it'll sit right outside of this right here. So I cut the angle iron with my Dremel and marked up 14 centimeters apart, or millimeters, my, my apologies. And now what we're going to do is drill a hole here and here so that we can rivet them together to this piece. Alright, so I've drilled the holes so that my 1 8 rivets can pop through. And I'm going to attach it to the end piece here. Alright, so we've got it riveted in there. Still has some side to side play, but as we start adding more stuff like the plexiglass, it'll tighten up. The next step for me is going to be cutting these pieces off right here so I have a nice flat surface that I can add the plexiglass over. So, as you can see, we cut the tops off with the Dremel. So now we got a nice flat top we can either glue or screw this on. Just a quick tip, when you're drilling through plexiglass you're going to want to put wood right behind it, I'm not trying to hang it off over the edge. I made that mistake before. You end up actually blowing out the hole and chipping it out before you go all the way through. So to have a clean, nice uh, hole, put it directly on some wood and start drilling. Finished drilling the hole in the plexi and the top of the PC fan. So let's attach them. So I think the next step is I'm going to put in some sides to this box here. And I'm going to leave this like this so I can unscrew it, take it off, and access any filters that I'm going to be putting in here. Alright, here's where I'm at now. Cut out two pieces will fit right on the inside there. I think I'm going to glue these into place. It might fall over. But the idea is they'll stay there. And this piece up top, we're going to be able to screw on and off. You might notice the lighting is a little different. My LED overhead light actually burnt out, so I had to make something new up. But so what I've done is I put these, well, it's a little loose there, but I've caulked the sides in there. 
it'll give it a nice airtight seal so that the air has to go through the filter. I think the next step is I'm gonna put this on, measure out where these these overlap, kind of cut it off, and install this just a slightly above. So this will be able to slide in, lock it down with the nut, and then it'll be good to go. Alright, I've cut this down so that it rests right on top there. I'm going to take this scrap piece of angle, cut it right in half, and rivet them right there so that this will slide. Alright, I finished riveting it on, and it doesn't slide too well, but considering you won't have to move the filter too much, it'll work. And as soon as you put this in and tighten it down, it kind of stiffens everything up. So I don't actually know if this filter right here is going to work. This is just an air filter from the house. But we'll at least be able to mock it up and put it inside here until I can find... I don't know what kind of filter you need, like a graphite filter or a carbon filter to actually remove the like the flux from the air. But we'll cut this up and try to put it in there and find a way to do it. Cut up a couple squares of that and uh, they fit in pretty decently. So our next step is I'm actually going to plug in the soldering iron, put it right up next to it, or we'll see how, how far it needs to be. Dab some solder on and see if it actually goes through. So we got the fan running and the solder iron is hot, so let's put some solder on it and see where the fuse goes. So here it is, all finished. Now, I was primarily concerned that this 5 volts on this 12 volt PC fan wasn't going to be enough. I thought maybe it wasn't going to draw enough air, but I mean, it's working pretty good. If it doesn't end up working uh, like I want it to, I might find a way to wire it to 12 volt and change out the USB. <laughs> but that'll be another video. So you'll see this in my upcoming videos probably if I ever do any more soldering. But yeah, thanks for watching.